Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the Winter Circle Sports Podcast. Today, we're going to be discussing the New York Yankees. Baseball season just started. Um, Nardi and Jeff were actually lucky enough um, to be able to go to two of the games, and they're going to tell us a little bit about it. So I'm here with uh, Nardi, Jeff, and Anthony today. So if you guys, one of you want to tell your experiences. Wait, before you start, can I ask you guys something? What's up? Of course. Were What's the up, were the prices expensive? Um, I got tickets. I showed you where I was. I was in uh, left field. I got mine at thirty five. Mm. How about you, Jeff? You had good seats. Um. Yeah. So we weren't really supposed to be sitting there. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I I mentioned it in my story, but no, you could go first. Yeah, but how much was yours, Jeff? Were they expensive? We we paid twenty five for like some oh, nosebleeds. Yeah. That's tough. All right. So I went on. I don't remember. It was the middle game of the Orioles series. And me and my brother went early. We were like the first people in. There was like no one in line when we went. And uh, so to go in, you got to get COVID tested or have your vaccine card. I have my vaccine card. My brother got a rapid test like four hours before the game. We pulled up. And uh, first off, parking outrageous. $45 to park. Wow, did they mm. that they upped it? Obviously, it used 45, to be. Obviously. Bro, I was pissed. I was like, "What the?" And everything is card too. They don't take cash. Wait, wow. did you park outside of the stadium or inside? Outside. Oh damn, forty five. Yeah, Wait, bro. Did, wow. Did, did you park in the one that we usually park at? That's right no, next to the subway. No, That's cl- those are it's closed. Closed. Yeah, there's not. Wow. Like none of those. Like the open lots down by the water are all closed too. So I parked. Wait, in so the did you have garage. to park in the official Yankee parking garage then? Nah, it was some other parking garage that was. Mm. It's right over the, the parking the high bridge, bro. Bridge. <laughs> it was like right over the little bridge, and I uh, <laughs> popped in over there, and it was forty five dollars. But they only take card too. Everything in the stadium is card, unless I miss something. I'm just an bro, idiot. Cash but... is king, though. Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> but, Bitcoin uh, is king, actually. Yeah, Doge is king. Actually, this anymore. Yeah, so Nardi, that's that's tough with the parking, and yeah. so you get in there and bad practice. In and uh, so the Orioles were taking BP, like they just started taking BP when I walked in. The Yan- like the Yankees had just finished, so I went. We went. I brought my brother to left field where uh, we usually go, like shallow left. And my brother instantly sees a ball lying on the floor behind the wow. seats, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm standing there confused because there's a skinny white dude in an Orioles t-shirt standing there. And I hear some kid call Zach, and I was like, knew it. And I saw him, and Zach Hample decides to pop his little head out and catch him right into his glove. And that, I think he said that was his 11,004th ball or some <laughs> Wow. Absurd number. Nardi, was that, was that your brother's first Yankee game? Second, that's the second Yankee game. Second, how did you go, I want to know how how many people were out there that nobody didn't see the ball. That like, dude, I have no clue. There was like fourteen people standing in left field, and And Zach was one of them. And and my brother didn't know. My brother didn't know who he was. Like Uh he didn't notice. I was standing there. I was like confused. I was like, "There's no fucking way that's him." And uh. The, he picks up the ball and Zach Campbell looks at him like, where, he goes, where'd you find that? He and said that to you. Yeah, yeah. got jealous, yeah. bro. <laughs> was like, it was just sitting here. But the Ori- he, he was standing in left field the whole time, Zach Campbell, so it had to be from the Yankees BP. Yeah. And, uh, wow. and um, fucking, he goes, oh, shit. And just like walked past my brother. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> and I was like, I waited like five minutes and I'm like, yo, can I take a picture with you? And he's like, yeah, sure. Just wait for a lefty to come up. <laughs> it was a lefty, and uh, I took a picture with Zach Ant, but I was very happy. Yeah. How did the game go? Did they win? They, they lost in overtime. That was the extra innings mm. game. Who yeah, picked, I remember that game. game. No, um, the, the kid that played with Cole. The, uh, oh, the Tyone. Pittsburgh, yeah. Nardi, I was excited for you because... I was hoping that maybe they would get a walk off. Yeah, well, that's stupid rule. You stayed Whatever. the whole game, Nard? Yeah, we'll get to that later. Yeah, we can talk about that. We can definitely talk about that later. So, Jeff, if you want to talk a little about a little bit about your trip, 
to Yankee Stadium? <clears throat> yeah, sure. Um, it was good. It was a nice day. It was. I think it was our first or second home game. No, it was our first home game. Um, we lost the first game in Toronto, I think. Okay. Did we play the Blue Jays? I think yeah, we, did, we yeah. played the Blue Jays first. Yeah, so we lost the first game. It was Kluber's debut. Mm. Um, all I know is that I Venmoed Jacob thirty dollars for for the season. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what we were getting into, what type of seat we got, but I I just wanted to go. I'm living in the city right now, so might as well, right? Mm. Why not? So you know, I'll get there. A little had a little game going in the subway, whatever, right? It was fun. And, you know, we're looking around to see which gate to get in because it was packed. Like, wow. f- first pitch, um, like, I'm pretty sure the first inning had already started. Um, it was packed outside. Um, we had just figured out our COVID. Um, and as we're walking around, our friend Joey looks towards the line. He's like, yo, that's loopy. And I'm like, loopy? And it's the fucking, the fucking loopy blogger, the fucking crazy maniac guy that just screams at everybody at fucking New York games and shit. He's like a Knicks fan, a Yankees fan. I don't know if he watches hockey, but like if he does hockey, but it's fucking crazy. Um, he usually goes viral around like playoff time, but yeah, so you on the story. Yeah, yeah he, he's known for being like, I guess, like a crazy Yankee, like a super Yankee fan, I guess. Yeah. Like an so, influencer on Instagram. And so he was just like, yo, what's going on, guys? Blah, 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 blah. Talking about his YouTube channel that he's about to um, come out with. And then he's like, yo, I'm at section 104. Pop out. Like, like, come to the club. And so we're like, okay, section 104. And I'm like, okay, you know, I thought we were going to be sitting in the bleachers. I didn't know we had shitty ass seats. <laughs> but so we're like, all right, we're going straight to 104. We're going straight to Loopy, right? And somehow we ended up finessing it. Some guy gave us a lighter because they twine. So what they're doing at Yankee Stadium is that they're twining the seats um, together. Like, they're twining them up. And so burnt the twine and just pulled the seats down. Um, it was good. Um, <laughs> 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 Wait, can you move your face away from your mic real quick? Yeah, yeah, I'm but sorry, yeah. Sorry, nah, sorry. you're good. Wait, Wait did, how'd you get past the security like that? So, that bro, crazy? we just ended up, like, it's like little tunnels to get into that section, and there's no security Ooh, there. Wow. Yeah. The only section we actually got kicked out of were the bleachers, because we went as a group of seven. Mm-hmm. So, we went as a group of seven. Um, We got in to the loopy section, chilled there for, like, two innings, walked to the bleachers. You know, we all went to the front of the bleachers, because that's where we wanted to sit. And there's, like, um yellow tape, like, paste it onto this like onto the bleacher where you're not allowed to sit yeah because it's only groups of like pods of two or four so obviously we're fucking seven people just like back to back it's it's obvious the bleachers are lit yo they are they are that's where we just we wanted to see what the we wanted to see what the vibes were um it was cool but we ended up getting kicked out um then we ended (laughs) up splitting up um we went to left field um it was cool we went there for a couple innings. We went to section, ah, was it what, like 127, 126? Like right, right past first base, um, that first section. And it was just boring. Like the sun wasn't hitting. It was cold. Um, it, it wasn't as lively as it was in left and right field. So we went back to right field, um, a loopy section for the second half of the game. It was so fun. Like we were heckling, um, Teoscar. Hernandez, I think that's yeah. his name. Yeah, we yeah. were heckling the shit out of him, bro. We're like, it was so bad. Like, I, I'm surprised that we didn't like that. There wasn't an article about like Teoscar like <laughs> saying something to like New York Daily News or something. Like, it was bad. Like, what the people were saying there <laughs> were bad, bro. Like that, and they were even heckling Judge. Like, it was so funny. Oh, they were yeah. so yeah. funny, bro. They, they were, judge. bro. They were. <laughs> There was this one guy that literally every, every like five, like, you know, every like five minutes would be like, George, please, f- my wife, please, please, f- my wife. Come on. I got <laughs> like, <laughs> now, bro. <laughs> and, and then, um, like, they were just saying, they were low-key saying some foul shit to Judge, too, but it was cool. Judge, like, 
like waved at us a little bit. He he was like just like nodding his head. But Tay Oscar gave us a lot of attention though. He would like put his hands to his ears whenever um we yeah. would say something. We were calling his girlfriend's name or his fiance's name or his wife. I think her name is Jennifer, something like that. So we had we actually had a little Jennifer Chan going on. But um it was fun. It was definitely fun. Probably yeah. the most fun I had at a Yankees game. I don't know if I'm, you uh, know who Ryan Mountcastle is. He's the left fielder for – or right fielder for the Orioles. Okay. No, left fielder, yeah. Left fielder. left fielder, yeah. We were sitting there, and in the eighth inning, a ball got hit, like, right at him. And he was running back, and he missed it. It missed his glove by, like, half an inch. Me, my brother, and two other people sitting to our left started an, a uh, – it was – the started this whole chant. They really? like, their hands. Oh, no way. That's <laughs> mad. on TV, yeah. So, if you find it, it's like. Really? So, speaking of um left field, so we were maybe like, what, 10, 10 rows back at most, right, from the wall at left field, excuse me, at left field, and three home runs got hit at us. Like, it was crazy. Really? A, a Gary home run literally was three rows in front of us. I thought it was coming right at us. All but in it, it had the, yeah, bro. All, uh, like it, two, two of the videos I looked them up on YouTube. You could just like literally see us just get up for them. Yeah, like yeah. stand up. Hell yeah! It was, it was, it was pretty cool. Like that's tough. Yeah, people fighting for the ball and shit. But everybody was chill. Like they knew that we weren't there, and they like we just vibed with them. It was pretty cool. And so, like, were there open seats though that weren't like twined off? Yeah. Uh, not really. Not towards the like middle of the game, but like there are obviously people that came in late. Yeah, but you just sat like away from everybody, so it wasn't so. Not really, not really. So, oh, really? Yeah, at right field, we were. It was a group of maybe like twenty people just bunched up, <laughs> like it was a normal game. <laughs> <laughs> like towards the end of the game, they didn't give a fuck. But, but okay, like I we were talking. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. it. You know how like they usually have the people to like check your ticket. Like, how did you get into section one hundred and four without having like a ticket? So yeah, that's we got in. So there's two entrances to each um section. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure we got into the one where it was just 104, right? So at the right side, and then at the left where 104 connects with either 105 or 106. Yeah, mm-hmm. with 105, that's where the person's at. Mm-hmm. With the more elevated one, but we went right through like this little tunnel. I was surprised there wasn't anyone there, but yeah. Like, Jacob and I, we we ended up finessing um like end zone seats like third row at a Jets game. Like there are some sections like if you know what you're doing, please MetLife don't watch this video. Please <laughs> Yankee Stadium don't watch this video. But there are security <laughs> and you can really get away with it. Really, I've never done anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Sean, the best the best seats we had was at the Guardian game. Yeah, that's facts. <laughs> yeah. That you guys bad. went to the, you guys went to an XFL game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and when man. we it went before, cold. we were like right um the whatever was, like the front row. We really? Yeah, who went? It was yeah. me, you, Sean, and Steven. Thomas, and Steven. Uh, right? No, just Steven. Just, just Steven, Steven and Anthony. And Anthony. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, yo, know, that it sounds tough. It um, it sounds like the games this year are tough to go to. How did you guys feel like, Jeff? Um, I know you said it was packed outside, but like compared to like an actual Yankee game when it's like the whole, like you got to walk around. The oh, you got to walk around the stadium, stadium like twice. Yeah, the whole stadium to get in line. Was it like that or, or you know? It was. Outside it was. And then at the game, it was honestly a good crowd. Like I'm not even going to lie. It was a good crowd. Mm-hmm. I mean, it probably was like that because it was – I think it was a Sunday afternoon. It was like a Sunday 1 p.m. game. Mm-hmm. And it was their first game. Like, it was their home opener. So, and Kluber's debut. But I think there are going to be a lot of games where it's just dead. And it's especially, like, since it's not that nice out right now, like mm-hmm. they're going to be pretty dead. Yeah, the game but, I went to, there were still, like, 2,500 tickets left when the game really? started. Really? Damn. Yeah. But it was, a we- it was, like, a Wednesday night. It was, like, okay. Wednesday night's, okay. like, 6 o'clock game. Okay. I mean, yeah. Hopefully, you know, w- once summertime comes, um, they'll sell uh, out. They'll either sell out or I'll maybe buy a little ticket package or something like that. So they'll be cheaper. Mm-hmm. I just want to say one thing too uh, before we end this, and I hope this is an interesting question, uh, Jeff. 
how did you feel compared to your experience at the Nets game compared to the Yankees game? Bro, Barclays Center was empty. Oh, okay. really? Really? <laughs> Barclays Center was empty, bro. And yeah. it's not even like, no, because like, you know, the Nets used to be the laughing stock of the league. And they they didn't really sell out their games. They used to sell tickets for like five fucking dollars, right? But mm. like when I went with my girl, it was crazy how it was empty as fuck. It was only us two, four guys in the front, and then two other people to the right in that whole front of the section. In the I whole the like fifteen row. rows. Yeah, we, we were in the third row. We were in the third row. Wow. And bro, it was crazy. Like literally and like we had a decent seat, so we were at the same level as the suites. Mm-hmm. But just a little bit to the corner. And, bro, I was screaming my lungs out, bro. Like, I swear Russell Westbrook heard me yelling at him, bro. Like, we went to watch Nets versus Wizards. I swear the players heard me, bro. Like, yeah, it was they crazy. Said, they said, yeah. like, the, the emptier stadiums, like, the players should hear the hecklers a lot more clearer. Oh, yeah. especially, for, especially for basketball, too. The capacity... I'm pretty sure the capacity at Barclays is only like tw- like thirty thousand at most, probably less than that. But it's they're only doing ten percent, so three thousand people. Tickets, we are? Yeah, those. I don't think we'll get our hands on those. Even if I, even if I gave my whole bank account, I doubt I'd get my hands on those. So. He said NBA finals. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> shot. And I've been working for a minute they too. Gotta make but... the finals first, bro. All right, all right, but but yo, let's. <laughs> Have, have you guys ever sat in like really good seats at Yankee Stadium before? Um, um I have sat at the was seats. the best I've yeah. sat at was behind the ju- like right next to the judges' quarters, like okay. in right field there. Okay, that's cool. 